I have the pleasure of getting to use a lot of gear because companies will send stuff over for me to review. But out of all of this gear, what's the stuff that I choose to use on a daily basis for my own personal needs? Here is my everyday carry for fixed gear cycling and productivity. This video is brought to you by Wobby Cycles. For top tier lightweight steel bikes, be sure to check out Wobby Cycles at the link at the top of the description. What's up, I'm Zach Allard, a life is short, but don't make it shorter, so ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous. And subscribe for more fixed gear and cycling videos just like this one every Thursday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific. We're gonna be talking about a lot of stuff today, so if you wanna see exactly what I use day in and day out, you can check out my gear at the links in the description at any point during this video. I am pretty particular when it comes to the stuff that I carry around with me every day, and I have a philosophy that guides what I will carry and what I won't. Basically, I'm only going to carry things that are actually useful and that I'll actually use. I like to carry only the bare essentials with me to keep my bag nice and organized and lighter to carry. So first things first, the stuff in my pockets, I have my wallets, keys, and phone. And for the bag that I found myself using the most is this black chrome Citizen messenger bag. And I really like messenger bags because they're easy to swing around your shoulder, which makes them really convenient to get in and out of when you're on your rides. Also, this bag has a lot of useful compartments. My favorite compartment in particular is the U-lock compartment where it just easily slides in and is nice and secure. And on the sides, there's also two water bottle compartments. And there's two big main compartments separated by this Velcro, which also helps to keep things nice and organized. Now for my productivity stuff, because I'm a a digital nomad. God, I hate that term. My work is location independent. I need to be pretty particular with productivity stuff. So for my laptop, I have an HP Spectre 13 inch. It's powerful enough to run Adobe stuff while still being light to carry. And something that I usually carry with me that is not in my bag is you. This is my Canon EOS M50 mirrorless. I have a 25 millimeter lens on it along with my Rode Video Mic Go. And this is my setup for vlogging along with some other things. Some of those other things being my Monfrotto little mini tripod. In addition to my 25 mil lens, which is what you're seeing right now, I have this 50 millimeter lens. And this lens and mini tripod live inside this left water bottle compartment. Now on the right water bottle compartment, I have a water bottle. It's a Camelback Podium. It's black, it doesn't have terribly annoying decals, and it has a lock spout thing so it doesn't spill. Moving on to my second main compartment in this bag, I have all of my bike related stuff. Firstly, I like to bring a change of clothes because cycling can be a sweaty endeavor along with a towel just to freshen up once I get to my destination. Also in this compartment is my Brooks saddle cover because I have a leather Brooks saddle and if you leave it out in the rain, it's probably going to disintegrate on you, which is not fun. But I also use it to carry some other bike goodies like a stick of deodorant, an extra tube, a temporary fender. This fender is the long ass savers. I forgot specifically what it's called. So all you gotta do with this fender is just strap this around your seat tube and that secures it. But because it is plastic, it does tend to lose some of its stiffness and structural integrity the more that you fold this and put it away. Other than the durability of this ass saver, I've been pretty happy with it so far. And lastly, in this saddle cover, I have my lights. So right now, I'm going in between this light and motion Via Pro headlight. And if you saw the review of this thing, I'm not terribly fond of it, but the reason that I've been going back and forth is because this one's just so much smaller and more convenient to carry around than this big honking headlight that takes up a lot of handlebar real estate. It's super bright, it's just not terribly convenient. For my taillight, I am using this Knight Rider Sabre 80. I was originally using a Solus 250, I think is what it's called, but that one flew off during a ride and is in parts unknown. So now I'm just using this one, which is one that I've had lying around, but it's good enough. USB rechargeable, dust and water resistant, and 
bright enough. Next up in this front compartment is a combination cable lock. I use this to lock up my saddle. And for my main lock that secures my bike is this Abyss Granite X Plus. And this is a pretty beefy U-lock. This cost me like a hundred bucks, but it's been a hundred dollars well spent. I've used this for the past four years in San Diego, Sacramento, San Francisco, and Taipei, Taiwan. Over those past four years, I've never had a bike stolen. For the next bike item, I have this Topeak Road Morph G. And this little pump is pretty insane because I used this thing in Taiwan and it just replaced a floor pump. This thing can get up to 100 plus PSI pretty easily. And I know that because it has a nifty little gauge on here. It also has a pretty nice handle that folds out along with an admittedly flimsy foot, but this thing is like the ultimate pump if you do not want to buy CO2 cartridges, but you still want something for the road. Heck, if you're on a super tight budget, I would recommend just getting this because it can replace a floor pump. It's not ideal, but it functions as a portable pump and it can still get you to 100 plus PSI. And lastly, I have bike tools and other miscellaneous bits in this ice cream sandwich bag that I got from a gift exchange. <laughs> Firstly, I have a Rima TT patch kit. They pretty much just make the best patches around. I have a patch kit in addition to spare tooths because what if you get more than one flat? Next up in the ice cream sandwich are tools are park tool tire levers. Now I've had these for the past five years and I don't like them. There was originally four, I'm down to two because two snapped, but the fact that they've lasted this long is a testament to how okay they are. They're not great to work with because sometimes they do snap. If you have a choice of tire levers, I would recommend getting Pedro's tire levers because they're a lot beefier and thicker and just easier to work with. But Park Tool ones, they're fine. Another tire lever that I have is at the end of this tool. This is a PDW3 Rencho. One end is a 15 millimeter box wrench and the other end is a steel cord tire lever and it's all wrapped in this nice durable plastic. If you're a tool nerd, this is definitely something nice to pick up. It's just a really solid, well-made tool and I quite like it. And for my Allen keys, I have this Park Tool IB1. Obviously what I love about this thing is just how small it is. It makes it really nice to carry around. It has all the sizes of Allen keys that you would reasonably need while working on your bike on the road, along with a flathead screwdriver. So it's everything you need and nothing you don't. What I don't like about this thing though is that mine's pretty old and these bolts at the ends, sometimes they get shaken loose or just loosen up with use. And I've had all the Allen keys explode in my bag and it's not fun when that happens. It's not the most durable thing in the world because I mean, just look how small it is, but it still is super convenient. And lastly, in this very suspicious looking plastic bag, I have some medication, some ibuprofen in here along with some migraine medication. I get migraine sometimes. And the last thing in my ice cream sandwich bag is an emergency inhaler because sometimes you run into a pretty lady that just takes your breath away. That pretty much does it for my bag. There are some other nice compartments here that I don't really use a lot like this cell phone compartment. And I also have a couple of pens and a highlighter in here. And for my helmets, I wear this cotton cycling cap, along with this bright highlighter yellow Giro Trinity. I really like the cycling cap because it keeps the sweat out of my eyes and it keeps my head relatively dry because it absorbs all that sweat. And I got this Giro Trinity because it was like 30 bucks and it doesn't have annoying decals. It's comfortable, it's ventilated enough, so I can't really complain. Something that I do like about this bright, annoying helmet is that Cars at intersections will wait for me. A lot of times they see me sooner. And overall, I just feel safe and visible with this helmet on. <laughs> and of course there is my daily bike, the Wabi Special. And one of the first things I did with it to make it more practical for everyday use is put on 
a front basket. This is a walled 137 medium basket. This basket has changed my life and I refuse to ride a daily bike without a front basket now. If you've never tried a front basket before, I can't recommend enough picking one up because they're only like 20 bucks and they really do change the way that you ride and use your bike. For my bottle cage, I have a PDW Sparrow cage because I like birds and it's a bird on my bike. So that's like two things that I like. Other than that, my Wabi Special is mostly stock aside from the saddle and the pedals. So that is everything that I carry with me on a daily basis. Let me know what your everyday carry looks like for cycling and for whatever you need for the day in the comments below. And of course, this video is brought to you by Wabi Cycles. Out of all of the bikes that I've ridden, the Wabbies have been my favorite because they're made out of lightweight, top shelf steel that gives the bikes a nice, lively, and springy ride quality while still maintaining the right amount of stiffness. Wabbies are also specced with no nonsense, but pretty high quality components, and nothing really needs to be replaced out of the box, unlike a lot of other complete bikes. My 58 centimeter Wabi Special weighs in at 17.5 pounds for a steel bike, which is, Kind of insane. So if you're looking for your ends all be all steel fix gear for street riding, be sure to check out Wabi Cycles at the link at the top of the description. And if you haven't ridden your bike yet, stop watching me right now because life is short but don't make it shorter. So ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.